Uh, hello traders, uh, hello traders. Uh, today is the 7th of September 2013 and the time in London is 10.13 a.m. In New York, 5.13 a.m. A happy uh, Saturday to you all. Uh, the title of this video is Advanced Market Geometry. All right, let's get started. We're going to look at uh, a few stocks using uh, the advanced uh, market geometry. Talking about the advanced market geometry, we are talking about a diagonal move, a vertical move, retracement to the opposite a diagonals. There is another level that I want to show traders to do today, which uh, I did not talk about before. Uh, the media line between uh, okay the low of the vertical move and the diag and the opposite uh, a diagonal. Repeat, I want to talk about a new levels which I did not talk about before. It's the media line of the low of the vertical move and the opposite diagonal. The orange line here, this is the opposite diagonal. And uh, the turquoise horizontal line, this is the low of the vertical move. For traders that are new to us, we are the TSTW uh, traders, and our website is www.stochastic-magdi.com. All right, I will explain to new traders, traders that are very new to us, uh, what we are talking about here. So I encourage you to stay with us. I'm going to draw the media line, which is the middle line uh, the, the, between, uh, okay, the low of the vertical move and the opposite uh, diagonal. This is uh, the media line of the low and the opposite diagonal. I will try uh, to color it uh, into a dark green and this is the line here. You can see that uh, uh, this uh, stock, uh, Dupont Nemour, listed on a Dow 30 American stock, uh, went to touch uh, okay, the media line of the low and the opposite uh, diagonal. All right. I haven't talked about the media line of the low and the opposite diagonal before because uh, I don't want to confuse traders. I want to keep things very simple. And uh, now we can talk about it, okay, and we can share it on YouTube, all right? When we are talking about advanced market geometry, we are working with market principles, all right? The normal progression of the market, the normal progression of any financial instrument is diagonal. Then when the price is going up, you see it go up like this in a diagonal move. This is a normal progression. A vertical move is a distortion to a certain degree. All right, very important. Now, after when we see a diagonal move uh, followed by a vertical move, there is a high chance that the price will try to retrace back to the opposite diagonal, which is the orange line here. Sometimes, if the fundamentals are very strong, the price will not touch, will not retest the opposite diagonal, but it will retest either the low of the vertical move or the media line of the low and the opposite diagonal. Are you following me? The media line of the low and the opposite diagonal is this uh, uh, dark green line here. As you can see for Dupont de Moore, it did not, if I move my uh, spotlight, it did not touch the orange line, which is the opposite diagonal here. It did not touch it, but it stopped exactly on the media line of the low and the opposite uh, diagonal. I will invite traders to pay attention to the media line of uh, the low and the opposite uh, diagonal right here. You get a message? Thank you. Now, let's move on very far. What's happening now to Dupont de Moore? As I explained to traders, when we see a, a, a normal progression followed by a distortion, the ultimate target is the opposite diagonal, the orange line here. As I told traders, there are other levels before that. Because if the price is going to go down, the price is looking for a better support level. We want to know where are the support levels. After a diagonal vertical move, we, we are highlighting the high, the media line, and the low of the vertical move. This is very, very, very important. Anytime you see a vertical move, highlight the high, the media line, and the low. As you can see, 
after the vertical move, the price was coming down. You can see that the, the price went down to the in the zone of uh, the median line, which is the pink horizontal line here. And uh, it changed the direction. You see this red one followed by the, gray, the green one here. Professional understand this uh, trading method, which is uh, an advanced uh, market geometry. Price try to go up, but they force it down. So the first target, which is uh, the median line of the vertical mall, was hit right here. In fact, the price went below it. Final support went back above it, but look, they bring it back to the next target level, which is the low of the media line. So the first target after a vertical move, as the price start going down, after you receive a clear cut signal, after the fundamental start getting weak. All right, very very important. Check the market, use the trading triangle. All right, do not force it, do not assume anything. Trade like professional traders. All right. The first target is the media line. The second target is uh, the low of the media line, the low of the vertical move. And the third target is the, the uh, opposite diagonal. Repeat, the first target is the media line of the vertical move. The second target is the low of the vertical move. And the third target is the uh, ultimate target, which is the opposite diagonal. Today, I will explain to trader there's another level here between the low and the opposite diagonal, the median line of the low and the opposite diagonal. Sometimes the prior will not test, will not retest the opposite diagonal, but will stop on the median line of uh, the low and the opposite uh, diagonal. All right. So you see now. So we see a normal progression. This is on a yearly chart. Why am I using the yearly chart? Because it's very, very easy to draw this line on a yearly chart. That's why you will see that I use the yearly chart most of the time when I'm talking about, uh, okay, uh, this advanced market geometry, diagonal move, vertical move, re uh, retracement to the opposite diagonal. All right. Today we also notice that uh, the diagonal move, vertical move, we see a progression in the uptrend followed by a vertical move in the uptrend. We want to try to to, to, to retest the opposite diagonal, all right? I did not talk about uh, uh, the, this uh, advanced uh, trading uh, strategy for the downtrend yet. I keep it for now. We want to concentrate in the up move, prime went up uh, in the diagonal move, and then uh, followed by a vertical move. Sometimes the opposite will take place when we see the distortion will take place, so we see a vertical move followed by a diagonal move. This is something else which I will talk to traders about in another video. We will see that very often when economy news are released, all right? All right? We will see a, a vertical move first before the diagonal move. I will come back to that in another video, all right? Moving on very fast, we're so talking about uh, advanced market geometry. We are using, okay, a diagonal move, the, the market principle, that in normal condition, when the price is rising, the price will rise up in, uh, okay, a diagonal uh, channel, all right? But when you see a rise, a, a vertical move, it's a, a distortion to a certain degree. We will highlight it, all right? So you, you see now, so what's happening now? You see now I'm on a, okay, monthly chart. It's easier for me to, okay, we can see my line on my chart, but it's easier for me to draw it from the, yearly chart. The charting software that I'm using here is the beautiful TC2000. Alright? So if you trade four eyes, you trade stock, you can use the TC2000 uh, trading platform. Alright? It doesn't cost a fortune too much. Alright? There are different uh, price levels right, that trader can use. Okay? It's up to you. Alright? I don't have any connection with TC1000, but I use the TC2000. Alright? Now, moving on very fast, ladies and gentlemen. So you can see that um, if I switch now from the monthly chart to the weekly chart, you will see that it's not that easy to draw this line. Though the, the advanced market geometry is valid on all time frame for uh, swing trading, position trading, for long term investment, it's better to use the yearly chart. We can use the same uh, trading strategy for day trading. Even on the hourly chart, on the 50 minute chart, you will see the same pattern repeating itself, diagonal move, vertical move, retracement to the opposite diagonal. You can see that um, on the weekly chart, I couldn't see everything. I'm going back again to the yearly chart uh, to see the bigger picture. All right, moment please, ladies and gentlemen. All right, you see now? So, 
Now, some traders have difficulties. Uh, now, before I come back to that, uh, what's happening to Dupont Nemo? Because we are talking about uh, advanced market geometry. And we can see that Dupont Nemo is retesting, as I speak in today, uh, the pink line here, which is the median line of the opposite diagonal. These are very, very important level that professionals are watching. You see where the price, we are on the, now on the yearly chart. The, this year, the high of uh, this year we, for Dupont Nemo is at uh, 6040. The price went to retest the median line of uh, the, the, the vertical move, the pink line here. All right, it's a resistance level because the price went up, okay, and retested it. Here you can see that after the vertical move, you see from here, the vertical move, the price was uh, came back to retest the, the low of the median. And these are very critical price level. And these are very important level that traders must watch. You see, all right. Even for day trading, now we see here is retesting the media line of uh, the vertical move. Day traders can switch to their lower time frame. I'll go to the 10 minute chart, like uh, the uh, uh, TST key zero two traders use TST uh, key zero two traders trade on the 10 minute chart. All right. So now I'm waiting for my chart to come. Okay, uh, waiting for it to load. If I can see, I'm going to do some exercise here, and I'll go back again to my 10-minute chart. Hopefully, I'll see my uh, a pink line on my 10-minute chart. No, it's not showing here. I'll go now to the hourly chart. I want to see my, this is my pink line, you see here. Okay, all right. My pink line is here. Okay, you see on the hourly chart how the price was so desperate, gushing, gushing to retest. Okay, the pink line. This is the media line of the opposite diagonal, uh, the, the, the media line of uh, the vertical move that we have drawn on the yearly chart. Look, but we switch to the hourly chart, we can still see here. It's a double top here, top, a double top, boom, to the downside. So there is a resistance here. And day traders who are using the top down trading method, locating a very important key level from a higher time frame, either weekly, monthly, quarterly, yearly chart, before switching to the lower time frame to make their excellent decision without violating okay, the market patterns, rising channel, declining channel, horizontal channel. Okay, do not violate the market patterns. All right, market patterns. There are only three market patterns, rising channel, declining channel, horizontal channel. Taking it step by step around key level at a low risk point. One thing I need to say to traders, so you see now as a day trader, we know that this level here is a very important level. We're going to watch it carefully, all right? If you zoom above it and you find a support, okay, the music has changed. If it's going up, we want to see higher lows, higher highs, okay? All right? Okay, you see now, so if you go now, because a lot of uh, traders, you see, on a daily chart, price run fast, 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 sometimes the professional want to bring the price to a certain level. So they say, we want to sell, we want to sell, we want to sell, but we don't want to sell here, we don't want to sell here, we will prefer to sell somewhere here, around a key level, level, and hiding our stop loss behind it. All right, some trader that I use a put option, call option. Okay, we use similar strategy, but as always, you want to trade Dupont Nemo, you go to Google Finance, check the economy news connecting to Dupont Nemo, check the balance sheet, check the management, check whether there are some litigation, some problem relating to that company before you buy or sell. Very, very important. Do not use the technical loan. This very this one of the mistakes that traders are making. Yesterday was Friday. A uh, lot of I know a lot some uh, new forex traders get into trouble because of what? Okay, uh, the uh, no farm data was released yesterday. You, did you see the tall candle? All right. Did you use the strategy that we talk about? Okay. All right. So yesterday, all right, was very good trading for us. Boom up, boom up. Euro USD, you uh, dollar yen currency pair. You see? All right. So this is how we want to do it, step by step. I know how traders feel, what traders are looking for, but what is more important for everybody is to build a strong foundation. Sometimes it may take some time, but keep working on it. Use the five percent money management rule. Concentrate on improving your ability to trade instead of chasing, okay, the profit. All right, because if you do not know how to do it, if you are not yet ready, all right, to go into the ring, so to speak, with uh, the hedge fund, uh, the institutionals, okay, uh, the smart traders, okay, the market makers, it's better to stay in the in the dojo. All right, you do if you do. Uh, 
judo or martial art you need to practice 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 all right before you start fighting all right now this is just uh, to make you smile a little bit all right so keep doing it all right do not be discouraged but always control the risk do not throw money at it all right ups and down it's not going to work don't fight the market but flow with the market all right so going back again to the yearly chart talking about uh, advanced uh, uh, market geometry this is um, this method of trading is developed by stochasticmadi.com okay myself as you can see here these levels are very very important so this is a key level that the price is approaching to down it offers okay a trading setup so we want to follow the trading dream, the setup or the signal and the entry point, checking the market environment without forgetting other market participants. For traders that are technical traders, be curious, okay? Be curious. Just try to do it. Yahoo Finance, Google Finance, okay, Bloomberg, just try to do it, all right? Sometimes if you if you are lazy like myself, or right, I go to Google, watch some video about uh, for, of Bloomberg, some economy news, let it play to you, understand what's happening, okay, search for Dupont de Mou and know what's happening. Another stock that I want to highlight here is uh, okay, uh, GE, okay, it's coming up here. Uh, same strategy general electric another american stock you see again the same pattern that is repeating itself all the time diagonal move vertical move retracement to the opposite diagonal the key level that we are watching are still in place here again if you look at uh, uh, general electric epic uh, golf uh, eco ge american stock you can see that uh, from 1991 up to 1998 there was a, a diagonal ball this is a, a normal progression from 1998 up to uh, 2000 okay we see a vertical move which i highlight with uh, the green line here green vertical line here so there was a, a diagonal move followed by a vertical move at this point in time as this is going on you can see we will start drawing the line as if the price was here we start drawing our vertical line up to this point okay as you move out we keep doing it until we start seeing the price coming back down all right because we know that there's something happening it's happening all the time and we want to take advantage of it but because we are ahead of the market we need to be very patient we don't want to assume anything we don't want to get too excited like a child we want to get it right all right this is very important for us all right okay so we see the vertical move we will draw our lines here now okay so this is the media line of the vertical move so this will be our first target if we receive a valid signal at the top of the vertical move our first target you see here on this yearly chart in year 2000 is here uh now the 2000 was the top of the team as we start rolling it down our first target is the median line of the vertical move here all right if D below E retest it and turn around and start continuing the movement to the downside, our second target is the low of the vertical move. You see how the market is respecting those levels. You see the tail here around the media line. Okay, here this one stop. Okay, and now bring it here exactly, change the direction at the low of the vertical move. Next target, if this one fail, the next target is the opposite diagonal. Now, as I explained to you today, sometimes the price will not come back down and retest the opposite diagonal, but it will retest instead the median line between what? The low of the vertical move and the opposite diagonal itself, which is the pink line here. You see here? That's why it stop again. Same thing we see for the Dupont de Mou on the yearly chart. The same thing we see now for General Electric. These are a market principle. The things the market is doing all the time consistently. So to achieve consistent winning trade, to achieve consistent investment, okay, winning investment, one must work with market principle, okay, instead of fighting the market, all right? Another thing I want to highlight to, uh, to my friend that are following us on 24Elliotwave.com, talking about the zigzag pattern, you can see that uh, there was an uptrend which was in the form of a uh, diagonal move followed by a vertical move. We will expect a correction, all right? A pullback is a correction. A correction, as I explained to traders on 24 Elliot, where there are different types of correction, all right? So zigzag is one of them. So prior pullback, down one two three four five we'll expect one two three and then one two three four five i want to go very fast with this subject of area way because this video is about advanced market geometry look look at the the, the, the this one the b okay so this one we call a this one we call b this one we call c if you don't know what i'm talking about 
he, he, he proves that you need to go to 24aliotwave.com and start learning a little bit about the Elliot wave, all right? The B correct, you look where he stop. He stop on the media line of the vertical mode. So you see here roll it down, straight boom, 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 directly to the low of the media line, the low of the vertical mode. He went down straight to the low of the vertical of uh, the vertical move forming the A corrective move now the B corrective is start going down which level are you watching you are watching the median line of the vertical move look beautiful isn't it Q from there sell signal G 2007 you remember all right real estate uh, crisis and boom he bring it down he couldn't go to the okay this is why we are talking the trading triangle. S&P 500 start going up. There is no more reason to, to continue to sell because we want to use the trading triangle combining, okay, the market, the sector before the individual financial instrument, the market leaders, the economy news, and the fundamentals. Here, it couldn't touch the, the, the opposite diagonal, but stop on the media line and start going up. That's why we are. Where is the price now? Ladies and gentlemen, for traders that are day trading, I can extend the, the law of... Uh, uh, my vertical move, I need to be careful here because uh, I want to show you here, in fact I will tell you now, the low of uh, my uh, vertical move is at uh, 22.98, 22.98, you can see that the price is above it right now because the price now are at uh, 23.16. Okay, for General Electric. So General Electric is above uh, the low of uh, the vertical move, it's a very important level, okay. So as I explained to trader, it's a zone, it's not uh, a thin line, okay, it's not price level size, it's a price zone. Okay, so I leave it like this. So the load, the level I want traders to watch for General Electric, okay, is uh, 22.98. Call it 23. It's easier to remember that. 23. So the price now at 23.16, okay, as a day trader, we know that the price is at the low of the vertical move, a very important level that all professionals are watching after retesting the media line of the low and the opposite diagonal. The price now above the low of the vertical move. As a day trader, we are where we know that this level is very important. Let's go to the 10 minute chart with that. I will see my uh, uh, line on my 10 minute chart. I couldn't see it. Okay, now I'll go to the hourly chart. Let's see whether I can see. You see here how it's touching here? Touch, touch, touch. This is a setup. This is a trading setup. As you can see, some traders were taking advantage of that for some time. Double bottom here. Boom, they take it shh, up. Here they bring it back again here. Watch it carefully. All right. And uh, draw your channel. So we are now on the hourly chart. Okay. How do we handle that? Draw the channels. Okay. Do not be afraid. Draw it. Okay. And be patient. Sometimes the problem will go without you. Don't worry about it. If you don't lose, that's the most important thing. All right. Let's go back again to the today. So we, you, are, you can see that I'm using a top-down trading method, higher time frame, lower time frame. All right, there are more to that which I, I was explaining to traders for a long time. But for the purpose of this video, we are focusing on an advanced market geometry, something that a lot of traders are not aware of at all. Okay. When we see based on a market principle, if you are working with the market principle, we are likely to make a better decisions. All right, we don't want to gamble it, we want to flow with the market, okay, without uh, assuming anything. You see, now it's easy. So, a, di a diagonal move followed by a vertical move, the ultimate greedy target is the opposite diagonal. Before that, there are other levels that we must acknowledge, the media line of the vertical move and the low of the vertical move. For traders that understand the A, B, C, D, A, B, C, corrective, the zigzag pattern, very often the B corrective way will stop at the media line of the vertical move. This is not a science, this is a, a kind of theory. But if you understand the theory, and the theory has been confirmed by the market, we will take advantage of it, all right? So we, we also highlight the media line of the low of the vertical move and the opposite diagonal. If the price fail to retest the opposite diagonal, very often we see the price will stop at the media line of the low and the opposite uh, diagonal. It makes sense. I think it makes sense, and I'm encouraging traders, okay, to test this, okay, to work with it, and to come back with, uh, to us with uh, their charts and uh, ask a direct, a specific question about uh, advanced uh, market uh, geometry. 
until the next time enjoy yourself and be very happy we are the tstw s y s zero zero eight traders speak to you soon